Imagine a world without plants. No towering trees, no colorful flowers, no juicy fruits, no green meadows, no shady forests, no crops to harvest. It would be a world devoid of the vibrant life we know today. It would be a barren and lifeless place, a stark and desolate landscape where survival would be a constant struggle. Plants are the foundation of most life on Earth, and they have a superpower photosynthesis. This incredible process is the reason we have oxygen to breathe and food to eat. This process is nothing short of a miracle, turning sunlight, air, and water into food that fuels the entire planet. Through photosynthesis, plants convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen, providing energy for themselves and for countless other organisms. Join me as we uncover the secrets of this green marvel. We'll explore how plants harness the power of the sun, the intricate mechanisms behind photosynthesis, and the vital role this process plays in sustaining life on Earth. Photosynthesis is happening all around us, silently and continuously. Every leaf, every blade of grass, every tree is a tiny factory, working tirelessly to convert light into life. It's a story of energy, transformation, and the interconnectedness of all living things. The energy captured by plants is passed along the food chain, supporting herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores alike. From the smallest blade of grass to the tallest redwood, every plant plays a crucial role in maintaining the balance of our ecosystems. Plants are nature's alchemists, turning light into life. They are the unsung heroes of our planet, providing the oxygen we breathe and the food we eat. Understanding photosynthesis is key to appreciating the delicate balance of our planet. By learning more about this process, we can better protect and preserve the natural world that sustains us all. Photosynthesis is like a magic trick, but instead of a magician, it's powered by the sun. Plants use sunlight to transform simple ingredients, water and carbon dioxide, into sugary fuel. This process takes place in special compartments within plant cells called chloroplasts, which contain a green pigment called chlorophyll. Think of it like baking a cake. Sunlight is the oven, providing the energy to bake. Water and carbon dioxide are the ingredients, like flour and sugar. Chlorophyll is the chef, mixing and combining everything within the chloroplasts, which are like the mixing bowls. And finally, the delicious cake is the glucose, the plant's food. Deep inside the leaves of plants, there are millions of tiny factories called chloroplasts. These chloroplasts are essential for the plant's survival and growth. They are the sites where the magic of photosynthesis happens, converting sunlight into energy. These chloroplasts are filled with a green pigment called chlorophyll, which gives plants their vibrant color. Chlorophyll is not just for show, it plays a crucial role in capturing light energy from the sun. Chlorophyll is a master at capturing sunlight, like a solar panel soaking up the sun's rays. Just as solar panels convert sunlight into electricity, chlorophyll converts sunlight into chemical energy that the plant can use. Imagine each chloroplast as a miniature kitchen bustling with activity. Inside these tiny kitchens, a complex process is taking place, transforming raw materials into food for the plant. Chlorophyll molecules are the chefs, ready to capture the sun's energy. They work tirelessly to ensure that the plant has enough energy to grow, reproduce, and carry out its daily functions. Water molecules are delivered from the roots, like ingredients arriving at the kitchen door. These water molecules are essential for the photosynthesis process, providing the necessary hydrogen atoms, and carbon dioxide floats in from the air through tiny openings on the leaves called stomata. This carbon dioxide is another crucial ingredient, providing the carbon atoms needed to create glucose. Everything is in place for the magic of photosynthesis to begin. With sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide, the chloroplast can produce glucose and oxygen, sustaining the plant and releasing oxygen into the air for us to breathe. The first step in photosynthesis is capturing sunlight. When sunlight strikes a leaf, the chlorophyll molecules inside the chloroplasts act like antennas, absorbing the light's energy. This energy is the fuel that drives the entire process of photosynthesis. Think of a sunflower turning its face towards the sun. Just like the sunflower needs sunlight to thrive, so do the chlorophyll molecules inside the leaves. They soak up the sun's energy, preparing to transform it into a form that plants can use. Without sunlight, 
there would be no photosynthesis, no green plants, and ultimately, no life as we know it. Section 5. Water Power – Splitting the Atom Water plays a crucial role in photosynthesis. Plants absorb water through their roots, and it travels up the stem to the leaves. Inside the chloroplasts, the energy captured from sunlight is used to split water molecules into their building blocks, hydrogen and oxygen. This process is like splitting a stick of dynamite. The water molecule, like the dynamite, contains a lot of potential energy. Sunlight acts as the detonator, releasing the energy stored within the water molecule. This energy is then used to power other reactions in the photosynthesis process. Section 6. Breathing out life. The oxygen we breathe. One of the byproducts of splitting water molecules during photosynthesis is oxygen. Plants release this oxygen into the atmosphere through the stomata on their leaves. This oxygen is what we breathe, and it's essential for all animal life on Earth. Imagine a forest as a giant oxygen factory. Every leaf, every blade of grass is releasing oxygen into the air, replenishing the supply we depend on. Photosynthesis is a continuous cycle of life. Plants take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen, while animals breathe in oxygen and release carbon dioxide. It's a beautiful and delicate balance. Section 7. Food from thin air. Carbon dioxide's role. While water is being split during photosynthesis, plants are also taking in carbon dioxide from the air. This process is crucial for their survival and growth. This carbon dioxide enters the leaves through tiny openings called stomata. These stomata act like little doors, allowing gases to move in and out of the leaf. Once inside, the carbon dioxide makes its way to the chloroplasts, which are the powerhouses of the plant cells. In the chloroplasts, the carbon dioxide combines with the hydrogen atoms from the split water molecules. This combination happens through a series of intricate chemical reactions known as the Calvin cycle. These reactions are essential for the plant to produce the energy it needs. Think of carbon dioxide as the building blocks for plant food. Without it, plants wouldn't be able to create the sugars and other compounds they need to grow and thrive. Plants take in carbon dioxide from the air and use it to build complex molecules like glucose. Glucose is a type of sugar that plants use as a source of energy and as a building material for growing. This process is similar to how we use building blocks to construct houses or Lego towers. Just as we need bricks and mortar to build a house, plants need carbon dioxide to build their structures. Carbon dioxide is an essential ingredient in the recipe for plant food. Without it, the entire process of photosynthesis would come to a halt, and plants wouldn't... Section 8. Sugar Rush – The Creation of Glucose The final stage of photosynthesis is the creation of glucose. Glucose is a type of sugar that plants use for energy. It's like their version of a delicious meal. The hydrogen atoms from the split water molecules combine with the carbon and oxygen atoms from carbon dioxide to form glucose. This process is like assembling a jigsaw puzzle. The hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen atoms are the puzzle pieces, and glucose is the complete picture. Plants store this glucose and use it as fuel to grow, reproduce, and carry out all their life functions. Section 9. Photosynthesis – Our Lifeline and Our Future Photosynthesis is not just a fascinating scientific process, it's the foundation of life on Earth. It provides us with the oxygen we breathe, the food we eat, and helps regulate our climate. By absorbing carbon dioxide, plants act as natural carbon sinks, mitigating the effects of climate change. Protecting our forests and planting more trees is crucial for the health of our planet. Every tree planted, every garden grown, contributes to a greener and healthier future. Let's appreciate the miracle of photosynthesis and do our part to protect the green wonders that sustain us all.